Here's problem number four from assignment number two. Um, we're going to try a little bit of uh, algebraic gymnastics here to uh, get this to work. Um, I know that when I try the plug and chug method, uh, sine of zero is zero and it will end up canceling out. Um, but um, I'm not willing to stop there. Um, how about I try multiplying this by cosine uh, plus one, the conjugate. Um, I choose the conjugate uh, mostly because um, I know that um, the Pythagorean identity um, is likely to come to my rescue here. Okay, so let's see what we get. Oops, oh, I can't write. Cosine of x plus 1. Or cosine theta plus 1. Alright, this is related to Pythagorean identity. If you can see that. Um, here's the Pythagorean identity that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So if I say, if I take this 1 over to the other side, cosine squared minus 1, and I take this net sine to the other side, sine squared on the other side, this is equivalent to sine squared, or sorry, negative sine squared. So now I have negative sine squared theta over sine sine theta cosine theta plus one. This cosine, this sine, and that sine cancel. And now I can ask, well, can I plug and chug now? Well, let me see. Uh, if I plug a zero into sine, I get a zero on top. If I plug a zero into here, I get a one. It looks like I get zero over two, or the answer would be zero. Um, let's do a, a, a quick check uh, to see if that ends up being true. Uh, calculus limit as x um, approaches zero of the fraction and it was um, cosine of x plus one on top and it was sine of x on bottom. Well, actually, it was sine of sine of theta, but we just replaced all the x's with theta. Um, let's just do a quick check to make sure that that matches what we started out with. Oh, cosine um, cosine minus one. Let me make that change. Um, make that a minus. Hit enter. And indeed, we get zero.